Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at downloading and integrating Unity with the audio engine FMOD. Uh, hopefully after this tutorial I'll be looking at doing some more videos uh, explaining how we use FMOD and Unity together and how we integrate audio for different purposes. But for now we're just going to look at setting them up so they work together. So as you can see I'm on the Unity 3D website. All we're going to do is click on Get Unity and we're going to download the latest version uh, for free there and we're going to make sure we remember where we saved that because obviously we're going to come back to that later once we've done that we're going to co come to the fmod site click download and there's actually two things we're going to want to download from here first obviously is fmod itself so whatever platform you're on you click to download here uh, by the way this tutorial should work for both windows and mac following the same sort of steps it should work just fine once you've done that come down here and download the Unity integration package um, for whatever version of Unity you have. And again, make sure you remember where you saved that. So for me, if I go back to that Unity folder I showed you, if I click on that, this is my integration package for my version. Cool. So first we're going to want to do, once we've got all that done, is open up and start a new Unity project. Oh, whoops. So I'm just going to click new and I'm just going to just call this test, doesn't really matter, and create project. I'm just wait for that to import all the assets. Um, this tutorial isn't really going to be talking about how we use Unity that much. I'm literally just going to talk about integrating them, integrating it rather with FMOD, setting it up and testing that the audio works. Okay, so we're in Unity. So now that we've got our project open, we're going to want to come back to this folder where we saved our integration package, open that, let it do its thing, and we're going to want to make sure we import all the assets in here. So just click all and click import. Once that's done, uh, step one should be done. Now you'll notice once this is imported all the assets, we should at the bottom here get an error. Um, you should also notice, yeah, see. Uh, the little FMOD tab just appeared at the top. But we also got an error. So it says FMOD Studio Project Path has not been set. Uh, that's because we've set up Unity so that it can work with FMOD, but it doesn't have a project to work with, or at least it doesn't know which project it's working with. If we click on the FMOD tab and go Edit Settings, as you can see here, uh, it needs a project to connect with. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to make a FMOD project for it to work with. So I'm going to open FMOD Studio. Uh, as you can see, this is the main interface of FMOD. Again, we're not going to be looking at this too much. We're just going to be learning how we set it up with Unity. So if we go to File, Save As, we are going to want to save this. So I'm going to save mine, so I know where it is, in that Unity folder I showed you earlier. So under my User folder, here's my Unity folder. I'm just going to save it. Actually, I'll save it in the Unity project so we know where to find it. And so we know this is for uh, the test project. So I'm just going to call this FMOD and save it in there. You're also going to want to make sure you click build. Uh, otherwise, you'll, it, Unity will struggle to find uh, your project. So click build and I'll just quickly save it one more time. Cool. So if we come over to Unity, click browse and click on that project. See, so this is our, this is my project folder, test, click FMOD. Click on the build, this bit here with the logo, and there we are. So as you can see now, it's uh, found the package and given us some settings that we can mess around with if we wish to. Uh, one quick tip I like to do, clear all them, is come to Edit in Unity, go to Project Settings, go Audio, and just tick this box here that's labeled Dis Disable Unity Audio. And all that does is disables Unity's audio engine uh, meaning it's using less CPU on working on the audio engine, but we don't need it anymore because we're using FMODs. Okay, cool. So now we want to test to make sure uh, everything's up and running. So what I'm going to do is come over to FMOD. I'm just going to create a new uh, 2D event. We'll just call this, we'll call this test as well. Cool. Then we're going to want to just import some audio just to test it with. Uh, I'm just going to go to the folder where I keep all my audio uh, and I'll just import one of the handgun sound effects. Minimize that, drag that over. Let's make sure we can hear it. Okay, cool. 
Uh, next, we're going to want to come to the event we just made. Right click it. As you can see, if right here, it says unassigned. And that means it's not assigned to a bank. Uh, and the audio bank is basically where Unity reads all the audio off of, which, uh, as we just set up earlier, it should be reading. It, the bank should be saved within uh, Unity's folders. Uh, so we're going to want to click, or right click rather, uh, we're going to want to go to assign to bank, and we're just going to assign it to the master bank. Cool, let's quickly make sure it's all built, save again, and come back to Unity. Now we're just going to create an empty game object in Unity, and just place the audio on top of that. And we're just going to set the audio up so that as soon as we hit play, the game will start and we'll hear that handgun sound, just so we know, you know we're working so we're going to come to add component on the empty game object we've just made we're going to want to use the fmod event emitter to play the event so we'll click on that we'll click the little search tab here click test event that's the one we just made uh, and then we're going to want to change play event to object start so basically we're saying here uh, when the object starts which is when the game starts play the event we just made uh, then we're going to want to come to the main character we want to remove the audio listener which is basically the audio listener is us it's our ears it's where we're hearing the audio from we want to remove that because that's unity's audio listener we want to use f mods listener there we go cool let's just drag the camera a bit closer to the audio so we can make sure we hear it and if we play that we should hear it Cool, there we go. I definitely heard it. Hopefully you did as well. And that's it, really. That's all there is to it. It's very easy to do. And like I said earlier, hopefully I'll be coming back to Unity and FMOD and doing some more tutorials, um, showing you some different ways on adding, you know, audio. Maybe we want to add sound effects or ambience or music. And I'll show you different ways of using FMOD as well. Cool, so thanks for watching. Uh, I've been Henry Scott. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in another video. Thank you.